Joining me now is Dr. Emmanuel Tambo. He is a postdoctoral research fellow at the University of KwaZulu Natal. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what does this election win mean for the ANC C party? Well, we, we have to look at how reduced their majority has been from 62% in 2014 to 57.7 57.5% uh, in 2019. So that is quite an indictment on what the ANC has been embroiled in over the last decade. So President Cyril Ramaphosa has a Herculean task now of not only changing how government uh, works, but then the face of the organization as well, because it is quite clear that he was actually more popular than, than the ANC and uh, that his election as ANC president in 2017 left a significant number of his, um, of his fellow party members embittered. Well, despite the reduced majority, this win is seen as a vote of confidence for President Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, and he still faces a number of challenges as he sets out to form a new government. What would you say are the most pressing issues that he does need to address now? The uh, there are three main issues that the, the, the new government faces. It will, you have to reduce poverty, you have to reduce inequality, and then of course you have to reduce unemployment, especially amongst the youths as well. So those are some of the things. And then not only that, his party has been involved in, uh, in a lot of dodgy scandals uh, over the, the last 10 years. So those are some of the challenges that he faces as the party. But at a national level, you have to make sure that employment is reduced, amongst the youths especially, and then of course poverty in rural areas most especially. So those are some of the immediate challenges facing his party. And it is quite encouraging that in the National Development Plan, that, uh, which is a, a, a framework for the, for the ANC, those are some of the challenges that were pointed out. And we hope that is going to prove to be a catalyst in trying to make sure that the, gov the government surmounts those formidable challenges. Well, quite a few challenges there. Let's talk about the EFF. It's made major inroads in, with black communities in this election. Moving forward, how does Ramaphosa champion non-racialism and issues regarding the majority African population? Well, non-racialism has, 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 has been the, the hallmark of, of South African politics, but whether or not it has been effective is another question. For now, they'll have to deal with um, the main issue, which is the, the issue of land, because it is land, actually, and, and, and then its economic repercussions that divides South Africa across racial lines. So they have to make sure that they act on the, on the issue of land effectively in a way that, of course, will satisfy the black majority who are landless. But at the end of the day, not frighten investors into precipitate withdrawal. And they will have to make sure as well that they retain the expertise of the white farmers as well. So it is a very difficult and, and, and a balancing act. But I, with his credentials, it's, it's, it, from the time of the from the role that he played in the run-up to the 1994 elections, we hope that he is going to, to play a very good and effective role in trying to make sure that he reconciles um, racial cleavages in South Africa and land will be of utmost importance. Okay, thank you very much for joining us with your analysis. That was Dr. Emmanuel Tambo there, uh, a postdoctoral research fellow at the University of KwaZulu-Natal.